Welcome back everybody to another product review. And today I'll be reviewing something that I brought back from my recent summer vacation. I was in Italy, well in Florence for a few days and I couldn't leave the city without bringing back a few Italian hair products with me. And so far the one I enjoyed most is the Tenax Hair Cream. And this is a recent Italian pomade company. They've been around since 2017. Their headquarters are um, based in Florence and they're known for their water-based gel type pomades. There's the one that comes in the yellow and the green cans. But um, I brought back the sample sizes and I'll review them for another time. But today let's talk about the hair cream. So it comes in this um, paper box over here. There's the company logo right there and their mask is the rhinoceros. They've been around since 2017 and it has sort of like a classic yellow color to it. The yellow this kind of just brings out a little bit of a vintage vibe somehow. And this is made to be somewhat of a classic style hair cream. So if you take um, the product out of the box, you would find a tube that holds um, 3.5 ounces worth of product. And there's the um, design of the tube in front with the, um, the rhinoceros logo and the copy logo. And at the back, there's the um, directions of use as well as the product description and the ingredients. It's obviously a water-based hair cream. It's meant to emulate um, classic style hair creams while making them um, stronger, actually. So it says here that this cream is a firm hold uh, hair cream with an ultra shine effect. And let's dig right into that. I'll just dab my hair a little more. It's kind of an unruly mess. I need to go to the barber soon, I guess. It comes with a a screw top cap. And the scent on it, it's kind of subtle, but I, I actually do enjoy it. It's got a sort of a sweet scent to it. It's a little bit like a classic barbershop, kind of like barbersol powder with um, something else to it. I really can't put my finger to it. But it's a very subtle scent. It's like a little powdery and somehow sweet. But it's not completely like barber powder, but it's just, it smells a bit like it, but not 100%. But it's just sort of like a sweet and slightly powdery scent. The hair cream actually looks a little thick and de definitely does feel a lot denser and even tackier and a little stickier than most other orthodox um, sorry, classic um, hair creams like Brill Cream, where they're just straight up really um, somewhat liquidy and really greasy. This one has more of a texture that makes it feel like a kind of a thick lotion that is kind of a little sticky. So the website describes it have a strong hold while firm hold is on the stronger side. To pomade um, enthusiasts, firm hold is basically somewhere that sits between medium and heavy. But to me, this does not really provide so much of a firm hold. Well, it actually indeed does provide you with a hold that is, um, it's the strongest um, classic style hair cream I've ever used, but I wouldn't describe it to be anywhere near um, a firm hold. And applying it to your hair, it is really easy, obviously it just goes in super creamy because it's a hair cream, but it's just a little resistant compared to a lot of classic style hair creams. It has sort of like a little bit of a, kind of a, thicker, or it's like kind of goopy, a little thick resistance, but it's still really easy to apply to hair. It's just like a very, very slight resistance. You can see that I have sort of a, a shine level that's between medium to high right now. And this is the shiniest product in the Tenax line. It's designed to give what they call an ultra shine or a maximum shine. However, um, the part that I find this product fails to um, excel the most in the longevity of shine because right now you can see a shine that's between medium and high. It is sort of like a good, um, relatively high shine I would consider, but it's not really sort of an ultra shine because when they said ultra shine, I actually expected something like um, along the lines of grill cream, like classic style um, high wet shine. This does give you sort of a good shine at first, but after a few hours or so, it would drastically um, dull out to be sort of um, an almost natural shine. I would say it's probably a notch or two above a natural shine and doesn't even give you an all day high shine. 
it just gives you that for like a, a little while and then it just goes back to sort of a natural shine. Combing is also really easy as well, but you feel a little bit of a tacky resistance just like when you apply um, it to your hair. But my favorite part about this hair product, um, this hair cream, is the um, the slickness is actually kind of um, akin to that of a pomade. It's even slicker than some light hold pomades I know. And the control from it is also great. Um, it has the best control for a classic style hair cream I found. And honestly, when it comes to the styling properties and just how it feels in the hair and everything, I would say this is sort of a bit like, almost like a light medium oil based pomade, but just a little drier and less greasy. But after you work it in your hair, it doesn't feel too greasy, but it just kind of feels a little sticky, um, kind of tacky, but it, there's a little bit of weight to it. So, and it's a little dry at the same time, so it's kind of like, um, it's not not too greasy at all, but you would feel just a little bit of grease somehow. So it's sort of like you're styling with a dryish, um, light to medium oil-based pomade. So you can tell, um, I can get like a decent shape from it that provides it provides you with a hole that's unlike other classic style hair creams, and I have decent height for my pompadour. Now the scent is starting to fill up the room a little more. It's not a strong scent by any means, but it is, um, you would definitely sense it at first, but throughout the day, the scent just goes, um, it just fades out a little bit and you can't really smell it anymore after a few hours, at least for me. Now when it comes to the hold, I would describe it to be more of like slightly under a medium. It's sort of like a light to medium hold, but it's nowhere near a strong or a firm hold to me. You would definitely need to recomb throughout the day, especially on the sides. But I really love how it, it provides the slickest, um, the best slickness compared to like other hair creams. It's um, usually most hair creams give you natural slickness. Whatever um, your the tightness, natural tightness of your hair, if it's rather puffy, it doesn't really do much to control the puffiness. Like Brill Cream, for example, it just um, leaves your hair naturally is how it is. But with this one, it actually has the tightness that pomades have. And like I said, it's actually slicker than some other light bulb pomades that I know. It's really easy to style with this as well. But when it comes to the recomb, it feels, um, recombing it feels almost no different than styling it in a way that, um, with a lot of hair creams, you kind of, when you recomb them, it just feels really easy and feels almost like you have nothing in your hair. But with this one, there's this goopy, tacky resistance that's with you um, all day, as long as the product's in there. So as long as you try to recomb it, you're always going to feel a little bit of resistance to it. But like I said, because it's a hair cream, you're, of course you would find a little flopping over, just like this over here. So it's all about the combing techniques as well. But still, it has an amazing amount of um, control and hold for a classic style hair cream, even though it's not really a super strong hold as, I'm um, a strong hold as it's advertised to be. And despite the, um, the goopy feeling it has, it has, it doesn't have too much of a weight um, to it actually, because you can see that I have sort of a decent height and it doesn't weigh my hair down too much. And now when it comes to the washability of the stuff, it doesn't go away with just water. You need shampoo. It's not water soluble. And with that, I'll just say that I'm done styling my pompadour. I just need to fix things up a little bit in the sides. Now this is how the product looks after styling. Under the sliding over here, you can tell there's a very natural and round pompadour shape. 
And there is a really nice gloss to it, but what I don't like is that eventually it just dulls down. So my final thoughts on Tanax hair cream. It doesn't exactly achieve some of the requirements that it's designed to, such as um, it doesn't really provide so much a strong or a firm hold. It's more closer to a medium, if anything. It's sort of like a true medium at best, but it's somewhere between like slightly on um, sort of a step below a medium, just sort of like a light medium, but just on the almost the extreme edge of the medium side of light medium. That's how I describe it to be. Amazing control for hair cream. And, but then, like I said, the shine, it doesn't even start out with a maximum shine to begin with. A good shine, but nowhere near maximum. It's not as high as Brill Cream, for example, and it doesn't even the shine doesn't even stay. So I would say this product, it's just um, some of you might actually be disappointed by this hair cream if you kind of expected a little too much from it because it doesn't exactly live up to what it's designed for, such as its shine and hold. But in other properties, it's sort of an amazing hair cream in that like despite not being sort of a strong hold and has the best hold I found for a classic style hair cream, not a cream pomade, but just, you know, light hold um, hair creams in general and the best control as well. And I also really like the way um, it makes my hair look. It doesn't have too much of a weight and it just makes my hair look natural, um, naturally rounded every single time without fail and my hair always looks um, really good with it. And it doesn't really get so much of a greasy feel as I expected, but it still does feel a little somehow sticky in my hair, but stickiness without the greasiness. So all in all, this is sort of, um, this is not the best product ever. And like I said, it fails to achieve some requirements, but I, for some reason, I just really like this product and it's okay, I guess, I'm for some of you, because it doesn't exactly, like I, I keep on saying that, a good hair product should actually live up to what it's designed for, but this one doesn't really achieve 100% achieve its um, requirements, but it excels in other ways that you would somehow probably expect, but not really expect. And I'll just sign off for now. If you enjoyed this video, um, this review, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon to never single upload a Squiddy Show, and I'll see you next time on the Squiddy Show.